Hey guys and welcome back to my pregnant cat diary. So a little update, Willow actually went into labor on Thursday at noon and she delivered one baby, one little kitten. So as an experienced cat mom, as somebody who has owned cats her entire life, I've literally had cats since the day I was born. Now, you can hear the little kitten squeaking by the way because they're like a few feet away from me. So as somebody who has owned cats her entire life since since I was a little girl um, and I witnessed by the way several kittens being born but I've never really been as hands-on in the birth process until Willow. When Simba was being born and when his brothers and sisters were being born uh, I had other family members there that were kind of like helping me out and, and telling me what kind of to expect them to do. This time I was completely on my own. I had to basically rely on the internet and calling several veterinarians in the area and asking them questions about whether or not what's going on is okay or whether or not I should start freaking out and you know get her to a veterinary hospital immediately. So two things I didn't know about cats until this experience. One, cats experience morning sickness and I didn't know this but apparently when Willow threw up and um, she was feeling sick a few, a few weeks into her pregnancy right around her third or fourth week it was probably her fourth week which is pretty standard apparently but I didn't know that until until Willow came along. And number two, I didn't know that cats can go into what's called interrupted labor. Um, so sometimes what happens is when the cat is really young and inexperienced or sometimes when she has a very large litter, let's say that they're like, you know, eight cats, it, what happens is sometimes the female cat will stop her own labor. She will have contractions, deliver one kitten, maybe, you know, three, four or five of them and then she will rest. She will stop her labor and rest for several hours to a day, sometimes two. It can last up to 36 hours, I found out. She completely stops her labor for that period of time, rests, nurses the, the new kitten or kittens, however many she has, and when she's ready, the labor picks up again, and was, the cat will start having contractions again, and deliver the rest of the kittens that she's pregnant with. So when Willow went into interrupted labor, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know why she just had the one kitten and then stopped and why the labor didn't continue. So I was really worried for a while, but doing some internet research and calling an emergency veterinary in the area, I found out that's totally normal. It's just what cats do. Um, so I knew to just wait. They told me to just wait. Just past noon, around 1 p.m. today, Friday, she gave birth to the second kitten. So everything's going really well. She's doing great. The kittens are fine. She, uh, and here comes the girl's part, but she actually ate the whole placenta this time and chewed off the umbilical cord all by herself. Yay! Um, so yeah, she's doing really well and the kittens are squeaking and they're all purring, cuddling and nursing, so it's all good. So this is going to be the first birth video. Warning ahead of time, this is going to get graphic. There is a lot of blood, so if you're the kind of person that gets grossed out by stuff like that, maybe don't watch it or maybe skip the really gory parts because this may not be for you, but if you're really interested in the miracle of birth and what happens when cats give birth to kittens, this is for you. I filmed everything and um, this is going to be the first video of the first kitten being born and I will put up the video of the second kitten being born probably in a day or two just depending on how much time it takes me to edit it all. Um, so without further ado, uh, here is the video of Willow giving birth to her first baby. Enjoy! Talking a lot? Don't you tell mommy everything? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
exhausted thing. Poor, poor exhausted thing.